everyone, welcome to another edition of Saltwater Fishing Tampa. My name is Scott. Today is Saturday, September 18th, and we're fishing the Skyway Bridge in Tampa Bay for guess what? Mangrove snapper. Yeah, as long as they're biting, I'm still going to be fishing for them. I didn't think I'd get out today after all the rain we've had all week, but I can actually see the sun here. Look at that sunrise, Tampa Bay. Amazing. I didn't think I'd see it today. But out there, I saw storms uh, really far out there maybe 20 30 miles a really bad storm so we're just gonna play it by ear today but anyways uh, we're going after the mangrove snapper we're uh, right by the columns that way is facing north and you can see the bumpers right here and uh, anyways I got a bunch of uh, live bait from uh, hooked up live baits look at these lively guys they're, they're getting a little bit bigger look at that. this is just that's a perfect size right there I like that yeah I really this is this really good bait and I got a bunch of uh, cut up uh, thread fit herring and I'm just gonna chum them out right out there just gonna throw some out there right now the tides almost kind of slack right now but just like that just gonna get just get these guys active right here and just toss them right out there just like that just let it sink down just get them active get the mangroves active I know there's gags down here I've been broke off here before so this is a really good spot and um, I got my twin power here and I'm going to be using the uh, yellowtail snapper jig with fluorocarbon line that's the strategy for today using the live greenbacks of yellowtail snapper jig and and just chumming them chumming it up and uh, uh, just letting them take it and uh, we're going to see what's going to happen today uh, hopefully the mangroves will be in but uh, I got a good feeling about today so uh, stay tuned and don't forget to hit the uh, like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Saltwater Fishing Tampa. So uh, you know what we do now. Let's catch some fish. Well, I just hooked the uh, cream back on here, and I still have the short leader on from my last trip. It's only about 24 inches, but that's all you need. And uh, I'm just going to give it a flick right out there. Let's just see what happens. Just let it sink down. I already chummed up out there. Just let it sink down. I want to fish underneath these columns until I can, uh, until some other boats get out here and spread out the dolphins, because I know they're going to be hungry guys today. Then I'll put the pinger in, and um, we're just going to try it here, see what happens. I'm just going to give this lively guy a flick right out there, right like that. I just chummed it out, chummed it up, and uh, just let it sink right down. Tide's hardly moving right now, and we got to change at noon. Just let this thing sink right down. Come on. Come on. Oh, there's a hit. All, shoot, there's a hit already. Probably lost the greenback. Come on. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Take it. Come on. There's There he's running with it. He's running with it. He's running with it. Look at that. Oh yeah! All right, already. Look at that. That's a mangrove. Yep. <clears throat> Look at that. Second cast of the day feels like a nice one. Look at this. It is. It's a nice mangrove. Look at that. Holy smolies! Look at that. Not even here in five minutes. <laughs> Look at that. Not even here in five minutes. Nice 13-inch mangrove. Look what I got him on. Got him on that jig. Really nice. Yeah. <sighs> Look at that. Let's get a measure on this guy and. Let's keep him on the hook. Let's keep this guy on the hook here. Oh. Oh, man. Let's keep this guy on the hook and let's get a, let's get a measure on him. On the check it stick right here. There we go. Look at that. Oh, yeah, 13 inches. Beautiful fish. Look at that. <laughs> I love to touch him like this and they do that. But here's what I'm using, the 25-pound cigar. But look at him. Got him on that jig. Nice-looking fish. Man, first fish of the day. And let's see how fat he is. Man, they're all fat. Look at that. <laughs> man, that's really nice. Let's get another. Well, first fish of the day, mangrove snapper, 13 inches right on the money. Look at that beautiful-looking fish. Look at that. Man, look at him. Got him right on that jig. And uh, got him right out there. Right out here, I just started chumming right up and uh, got him, not even here five minutes, and uh, and he took it and I ran with it and got him in. Let's get another. I'm just looking to look at these little guys. 
I'm just hooking them on here just like this. Lively little guy right like that. Short leader and just flicking it right out here. Looks like the tide is starting to move where the wind is. Just, just giving it a flick right there. Just let it sink right down. You can see the line going down. It didn't even hit bottom on that last one. So let's see what we can do here. The tide is starting to, starting to come in this way now. So uh, just gonna give it a flick right out there. Always changing the bait out. Always putting fresh bait on all the time. If it doesn't look active, they don't really want it unless it's unless it's cut right in half and you're and you're chumming them up. But uh, just gonna give it a flick right out there. Just let it sink down. Let it do its thing. Don't want to over chum them. Just let it sink down. Chum is sinking down almost straight, really slow. Come on, come on something, take it. Gotta get ready here. Gotta get ready here. Come on, come on something, take it. Take it. It's the boat right underneath. Oh, and he got off. Oh man, I tell you, that was a nice, that was a nice mangrove. He got off right underneath the boat. I thought I'm right next to these columns here. I tossed it right out here. It wasn't even in there. Wasn't even in there 15 seconds. And something was nailing it. I didn't have time to react. Come on. I saw a dolphin here, so I put both pingers in. If I get something, I gotta bring them up fast. You know, really, there he is over there. Now I'm gonna reel up. I put both pingers in because I saw the dolphin and um, not many boats out here now, so they just look for boats and, and try to hang around it. So uh, that's what I've done. And uh, I saw them out here, but I saw them out this way. So uh, whenever they do that, I just wait, wait until I see them go away and uh, continue fishing again. I don't want to feed them. I just tossed it right out there. I just saw the dolphin too, but well, come on, come on, come on. Come on, something's gonna hit this. Come on. Yeah, it's right in that strike zone right there. You can just you can just tell sometimes, you just know. Come on. Come on. Nice mangrove here! Finally! Finally! <laughs> oh, there he is! Nice! Oh, look at that! He got off right by the boat! Oh, man! Well, let's get another! And this is where it's been going, right out here, and this is where I've been getting the hits, right out there. That's about where it's been sinking down to, right at the, right at their depth. So, let's just see if we can't pull one out of here. Come on! Oh! I hope it's a mangrove, it may be a gag, but let's just see, there we go. Oh, let's get him in the boat. <laughs> About time we got one in the boat that didn't didn't get off. Oh, he's a nice one, he's not bad. Look at him, man, I like the color on these guys, but man, they've been, they've been taking my bait and, and uh, cutting the line, so I switched the 30 pound test. I had 25 on there, but I had about three break offs already, so, um, but he's not bad, he's not bad. Let's get a uh, measure on this guy on the check it stick here. Hopefully he won't jump off, but uh, let's just see. Nah, he's about 11 inches, but he's a fat guy. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this guy, but uh, we got storms rolling in here, so uh, I may just put him in the cooler. So he's 11 and a half, but you know, uh, I don't know how long I can stay out here, but he's a nice looking fish, look at that. Whoa, nice little, whoa. <laughs> He, he better go in the cooler before he jumps out of the boat. So, <laughs> all right, let's go. Let's get another. Yeah, let's see what we got here. He feels like a grouper, but if he's a mangrove, he's nice. Let's get him in. Well, got him in. Got him in. Really nice. Oh, he's a beautiful. He's a beautiful looking mangrove. Nice. No, looked pretty good too. So, nice orange color. Yeah, he's probably 11 and a half inches. I like to get some 15s though. But I don't know with these storms coming in. I don't know how long, how much time I can stay out here. So, uh, man, come on, get out of here, guy. 
let's just see this guy. Let's put him on the check it stick. Let's see if he doesn't just jump around. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. Let's just see. Yeah, look at this. This seems like about the same size here. All 11 and a half, but still, nonetheless, I mean, nice looking mangroves. I mean, beautiful fish. Look at that. And they're fat too. Look at the, <laughs> look at how fat they've been. They've been getting, man, Tampa Bay really has recovered quite well. So, uh, now nah, I don't know whether I should keep this guy or not, but uh, there's storms rolling in out this way here. So, uh, and they're not far offshore. And um, uh, the lightning, I don't like to deal with that. Rain I can take, but uh, he's a nice looking mangrove for a little guy. So, uh, oh, there he goes. <laughs> There he goes. I think I'm going to keep him because uh, I don't want to stay out here too long. So let's get another. This tide's been coming in and I've just been... Just hook these guys on here. Just like that. you got to be careful so you don't kill them. So just like that. And just flick him out. I've just been... Since the tide's coming in this way and I want to get him in the water column right down here, I flick it out about just right that far. And I just closed the bale for now. But that's about how much line I have out. That's about the depth, about 30 feet here. Once it gets down here, then I'm just going to free spool it, free line it, so they don't feel any tension, and let them take it. Just like that, I just open up the bale. I don't want them to feel it here. It's going around that column. Let's just see what we can do with this. Then you can just feel and feel them take it. When they hit it, come on. Come on. Just a slight amount of tension on there. The tide is starting to pick up. Yep, now uh, we'll cast out again. Flip it out again. I switched locations and uh, I started shoving out here by the last bollard here. I was I was over that way and now I'm, I'm over here and um, just gonna try it. I see it's starting to drizzle out here so uh, I chummed out here and you can see the see the current ripping so I'm gonna throw a little more chum in there just just like that right there and it's really ripping but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna toss it over this way like that straight that way and then it's gonna just sink straight down and get into the water column where the mangroves will be hanging out you can see that the anchor line is straight down like that so that means the tides coming in so I finally got one here at the bottom. Got to get him in. I don't know if there's a dolphin around or not, but that's a nice fat mangrove right there. There you go. Look at that guy. Nice and fat. Wasn't even here five minutes. And <laughs> usual mangrove after five minutes. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the belly on that guy. <laughs> Holy cow. Yeah, he's probably about an 11 and a half inch. It seems to be that's the size they're running today, but. Uh, let me just check this guy out. I always like to do the check it stick. I really admire these guys. Yep, that's, that's the same size. It's almost like it's the same fish, but it's not because they're right here at this bollard. That's pretty neat though. Nice looking fish. Let's get another. I want to get a 13, 14 inch, 15 inch is what I'd really like. So, but let's get another. I've been doing here. I mean, there's a lot of weeds out here today, but I've been just flipping this right out there and right in that current and just letting it go out just free lining it like this and just 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 kind of feeling what's going on i don't want them to feel it but you can tell when they take off with the line so it hasn't gotten too far down before they've been hitting it come on let's just see i've been shoving them up so let's just see what they do I want to get a nice one here. Man, tide's really rolling in. Out there, you can just see my line right now. I'm just gonna let it sink. I'm gonna open up this bale here. I don't want them to feel any tension on here. No tension on it. Just see what, see what hits. Let it get down in the water column. And then they'll just take off with it. Oh, there's a hit right there. Come on. Oh, jeez, I missed them, man, but they're there. Let's hope this is a nice 14 inch. Come on, guy, let's get up here, get up here. He caught him way at the, oh, look at it. it's a gag. Look at that, look at, got a gag out of here. Man, I was afraid of that. 
But anyways, beautiful looking fish. Really love these guys. And you know what it is with a gag? See their, see their fins right here? And look at this. See this fin? And, 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 and they don't have the scales because they go in the rocks. These guys go right in the rocks. I mean, they're, they're just built for the bottom. Where the mangroves, they're, they're more of a schooling fish. So you see the rounded uh, fins on them like that and the thick, thick skin like that. They're made to go in the rocks, these guys. And I really admire them, but that's a power tail on them. <laughs> Even though he's a small guy, it's a good example of a grouper. I mean, look at them. And then they spread their gills when they get in the rocks like this. And then they make a grunt, grunting sound. See that? They'll spread their gills like that, the bigger ones, and they'll just grunt. But look at look at these. See the rounded fins are they're made for power. Where the man grows are made, they're made for schooling. But uh, he jumped. But I gotta let this guy go and uh, let's try for some mangroves. I was hoping this was a nice mangrove, but it's nice to catch gag. It's nice to see him out here. Come on, guy. Come on. Look at how he spreads his gill plate like that. See that? Spreads it right out. I'm not doing it. He's doing it himself. But go on in. Very nice. Let's get another. I'm right out right out there and then it's just gonna sink down sink down into the water column once it hits that ripping ripping current and goes out here and then I'm just I'm just feathering it like this just waiting from the tear off line that means they have it I just want to let it get down and I've been shoving them up so come on come on just letting the line out. That group will come up from the bottom to get that. So they're in the water column. That chum brought them up. Another nice one at the end of the water column. I'm hoping this is a mangrove because he feels like one. I'm, you know me, I'm just hoping for one. So let's just see what we got. And it is, it's a nice mangrove. There you go, look at that. Yep, look at that. Caught him right out there, right at the right at the edge of that water column, right out there. And he, they're not down that far either. And look at he, he got this thing right. Oh, I thought, oh, look at that man, nice looking mangrove. But I want a 15 incher. And it doesn't seem like there's many around. I got that one 13, but you know you got to be happy with what you got. I mean, I've been getting them, so nice guy. I'm gonna let him go. Go on in. I got something on here. I think it's a, I think it's a grouper. Let's just see. He just feels like a grouper, but no, it's a mangrove. It's a mangrove. There you go. Look at that. Holy cow. I caught him on a 3 8 jig. Look at that. Yeah, the tide's really starting to rip out here, but uh, that's what I, that's what I got him on, that little 3 8 jig. I thought I'd go with a, um, a different weighted um, jig because of the, uh, because you look at the, look at the current right there, but uh, yep. He's only about a 10 incher, but uh, go on back. Well, I got a fish on, but I, he took me in the rocks, and so I think it's a gag. I think it's a gag. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get out of there. I got him out of there. Come on. Let's, I bet it's a gag. I, I mean, what else would do that? Oh, a mangrove. That's what would do that. He took me right in the rocks. Unbelievable. Man, I tell you, that guy, look at him. I want some, <laughs> look, at, look at him. You know, it's starting to storm out there. Look at look at the weather out there. And I looked at the radar. It's, it's not looking too good out there. I may just head in. I don't want to take a chance. There's other boats out here, but I don't want to be, I don't want to get caught in that. Let me just look at this guy. Look at him, look at him. You know, <laughs> let me just see. Whoa, don't go anywhere, buddy. <laughs> come on, come on. Ah. Man, he's an active guy. Look at him, he just makes, he makes 11 inches. Man, I tell you, yeah, I'm, I'm so spoiled from catching bigger mangroves, you know. <laughs> That's unbelievable. But anyways, he's a nice looking fish. I don't know, I got four of them. I don't know if I should keep mine and toss them back. There you go. Look at him go. Here, let's let's hope it's a nice mangrove. That's that's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for. There it is. There it is. Man, I tell you. Now finally we got something nice here. I like him. You know what? I think he's gonna finish my day up because oh, look at the weather out here. <laughs> it's just time to go. 
I heard some thunder out there and I want to skedaddle. So anyways, nice mangrove. Looks like he's about 12 and a half. So that'll finish out the day for me. I'm, I don't want to get caught in that storm. So uh, let's just give him a, let's give him a measure and just see. Come on, come on. Yep. Oh, he's like, oh, he just, just about touches 13. If, if that's how you want to do it, I think that's how they do it. But I mean, that's a beautiful looking fish. My tackle box here. Anyways, uh, yeah, I had to switch from 25 to um, to 30. I mean, it looks like they were just cutting it right off. But uh, look at that. <laughs> yeah, he's a nice guy. Look at that beautiful looking fish. Better hang on to him. He may just jump in the water on me. You know how I am. Man, I tell you, let me see if I can hold him correctly. <laughs> there he goes. Tampa Bay mangrove snapper. Beautiful. Nice looking guy. Man, I like these guys. Look at that. Look at the stormy weather out there. But yep, he's a beautiful looking fish. Well, time to head in. Let's call it a day. We got five, so we're good. Well, we didn't do too bad today. We got our limit and I threw a bunch of 12 inches, 11 inches back, but uh, I was able to get I was able to get five and uh, got a couple of nice 13s. Didn't get any 15s or uh, 14s, but you know, I'm pretty happy. Just I didn't think I'd be able to come out on Tampa Bay today because of all the storms out there. And I waited it out on the flats and it looked clear. Now I heard some thunder. It's time to go in. So anyways, uh, here's what we got today. Not bad, you know. I mean, my, my wife really loves these and I love them too. So some really nice, I just got that guy. Really nice looking mangroves, I tell you. And you know, you know, I don't, I don't play them out. And uh, so we really utilize a lot of the fish. So and we eat a lot of it and my uh, wife's friends eat a lot of it but uh anyways had a great day out here today you know didn't get sunburned or anything <laughs> that, that's a good thing there's a lot of boats out here too over that way they're all around here but the tides the tide's gonna switch probably in about two hours so i'm not gonna wait around because that's not gonna wait around out there there's no way so well, I want to thank everybody for showing up today. I had a great time. I hope you enjoyed the video. It was great. It's always fun catching mangroves, you know. Even if they're only 11 and a half, 12 inches, and I had some break off, I went from 25 pound uh, uh, fluorocarbon to 30. Made the difference. Wish I would have uh, had that on the, to begin with, but you know, a lot of times you get better hookups with uh, with the lighter line. So. But anyways, I want to thank everyone for showing up today. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Any comments, I'll answer them all. Until then, this is Scott with Saltwater Fishing Tampa. Happy fishing.